January 29th, 2022. It's nor'easter. That's the word. There's snow accumulating. Um, so I have been following, tracking the storm um, and the message updates. It is a state of emergency. They just said, it, or they said at 10 a.m. Uh, between um, New York and and New Jersey. The way that I knew to take my son and walk up to meet the Channel 7 newscaster or journalist, I believe he, he referred to himself as, um, but in my local area was because I was watching Channel 7 and it says keep the city up and going and he comes on and it says bayside and i happen to know the corner marcus sola is still standing in bayside to give us the indication of what the situation is like right now marcus and Mike, like Stacy said, the temperatures are so cold that there's a limit as to what the plows can do, the effectiveness of the salt. And they've been at it all morning. They have been going nonstop, and yet they cannot get to the blacktop. The commissioner, the uh, sanitation commissioner today said, you will not see blacktop today because the conditions are just, uh, just so bad. And the wind... Uh, whipping makes visibility really poor, which is why they're asking people to stay off the roads. This was a situation we saw a little bit earlier here on Northern Boulevard, where there was a car had trouble uh, getting going. It was going sideways at one point, and the rear wheels just spinning around finally started making it up a little bit uh, along the Northern Boulevard when a snowplow approached and had to slow down work its way around those cars that were there, and that's exactly what officials are hoping to avoid by asking people to stay off the roads, let the sanitation crews do their job. Nearly 2,000 city plows out throughout the five boroughs getting to it. The mayor uh, has been traveling to some of the locations to see. You can go online to Plow NYC and see exactly where the plows are in your neighborhood, but again, they're asking folks to stay off the road. Buses are running, and one bus driver just told us it's slippery out there, but people need to get, some people actually need to get to work today, and so they are among the few that are out. I was actually coming back from my job that forgot to call me and let me know that they were closed. So I'm heading home right now. I was just filling up the tank, so I'm ready for tomorrow. <laughs> How was the driving? Uh, you know what? It was a little slippery, you know, if you step on the brakes too much, and there was a lot of people out, surprisingly, and I was wondering where they were going, so... But yeah, so it's it's all right. It's not too bad, but I wouldn't recommend being out here unless you have to be, you know. And of, course, and of course, as we've been saying throughout the morning, it is a Saturday, so that makes it certainly a little bit easier. Uh, fewer people on the road and fewer people on Northern Boulevard. If you're familiar with this stretch, uh, there is really virtually no one on the road here, which is certainly a good thing. That's the latest from Bayside as the wind picks up and the snow comes sideways. Send it back to you guys in the studio. Oh, man, I feel for you out there. Stinging wind in the cold conditions, too. But, Marcus, you know, we heard from Commissioner Grayson earlier about trying to, to even get the bike lanes open. And, and you talked to a... A person who was a delivery person on a bike earlier this morning. I mean, have you seen other people maybe just walking around or on bikes this morning since that interview about four hours ago? No, the, the only folks that we're really seeing walking, occasionally somebody comes to the bus stop because we are near a bus stop and the buses are running, uh, but not all, they're either coming from a business, they worked overnight, uh, or some folks who live in the neighborhood maybe trying to get to the bus stop. But uh, really what we've seen is just a lot of this, the plows coming down, which is certainly a, a great thing. And at one point, they almost did get it down to blacktop, and, and we had remarked that, oh, wow, it looks like they're, they're making some headway. And then just within you know, a few minutes, it starts to cover up again and become snow covered because the wind and the cold that's been a constant now I would have made him a Long Island liar <laughs> for familial just so he's clear because this was his report at 10 12 a.m. and after I saw this it was almost my call to action um, because he said that he hadn't seen anybody, and I found out that he was in Bayside. Um, so, um, Anton, Anthony, uh, 2012, and myself, I asked, I said, do you want to go up and see the man who's on the television, the most famous man that is close that we could go and say hello to? 
We said, yes! And he, like, ran to get his clothing. And then we walked ourselves to the cameraman because he's on the teleportation device. I mean, there's what is the opportunity on that? How many times has that happened in a lifetime? Somebody who actively teleports and you can go see them in real life. They're in your neighborhood. So we made the trek to go see him um, and make sure that he knew that we were here. I lost my household in Long Island. Now we were back here. And so, um, but that I, he, that Anton, 2012, was my Scandinavian Copenhagen carbon copy. I look like the girl with the pearl earring, um, the painted. And my son still looks closer to that um, painting than I do at the moment, only because of how much damage I, I mean, I didn't go into those levels of detail with him, but... But I did tell him that uh, the girl with the pearl earring in the frick. So this way there was a level of conversation that he had met uh, me in whatever. Um, so I don't know, can you see? There's the silhouette and there was my... This was 1995, 1996. This is 16th century, 15th or 16th century for holographic universe or whatever in reincarnates and archangels or archangels. Um, so it is Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361, and that is the gentleman that I w actively um, went to speak to calmly and just to introduce myself and Antonucci. Um, being that he is now officially the most famous person in the world that my son has had a chance to meet. Um, it is star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza, Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it is Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.